Could you ever imagine that a new company like SpaceX would beat the strong legacy of NASA in the space exploration game? Well, history is about to repeat itself, and the monopoly of SpaceX's Starship and Falcon Heavy will soon be over. The most interesting part is that it's coming from China, the nemesis of Elon Musk. China's space program has grown a lot in the past 30 years, and now their long March 9 has become one of the most eagerly awaited and important rockets that will launch soon. China has a big plan to send its own astronaut for the first time to the moon, and the Long March 9 will play a key role in making that happen. But is the Long March 9 really that capable? How is it going to steal the limelight from Starship and dominate the space industry? What's so special about it? Let's find out in this video. Did you know that all the rockets of China are called Long March to honor Chairman Mao? who was a leader in the Red Army a long time ago. He did something amazing by leading his army through the rough mountains and rivers in North China. Even though many of his soldiers died, this inspired the Chinese communists, who later built a new army and made Mao the leader of China. The LM rocket series also carries a notable legacy. The first rocket in the Long March family was Long March 1. It launched China's first satellite on April 24, 1970, which is now a special day in China. The Long March 2 rockets were also important. Long March 2A helped set up a network of spy satellites in the mid-70s, and Long March 2D has been a reliable rocket for 30 years. The Long March 2E was big and carried communication satellites high up, and the Long March 2F sent China's first astronaut into space in 2003. Over the next 20 years, China's rockets got even better. Long March 3 put up satellites for China's GPS, called Baidu. Long March 4 set up advanced weather satellites. Long March 5 is the biggest and most powerful rocket, and it set a mission to Mars with an orbiter and a rover. Long March 5B is for building a space station. Long March 6 is a small rocket for tiny satellites. Long March 7 sends cargo to a space station. Now China is working on two new rockets. Long March 8 wants to be the first reusable Chinese rocket, and Long March 9 is trying to be better than all the worldwide contemporary rockets in the space race. If we ask you who is revolutionizing modern space exploration by offering affordable and sustainable missions to the Moon and Mars, the simple answer will be SpaceX's Starship at Super Heavy Rocket. They can hoist up to 150 metric tons to low Earth orbit (LEO) in a reusable form, and up to 250 metric tons in an expendable configuration. That's what China's Long March 9 wants to change, as it's a formidable contender in the super heavy lift rocket category, spurred by renewed enthusiasm driven by the Artemis program. To give you a better understanding, back in the 60s, NASA's Saturn V was a powerhouse with 7.6 million pounds of thrust. Fast forward to today, and NASA's Space Launch System, SLS, ups the ante with a whopping 8.8 .8 million pounds. Yet SpaceX's Starship, set to launch soon, is poised to surpass even the SLS, promising to transform rocket capabilities. Over China's Long March 9, the colossal rocket stands tall at 103 meters and boasts a 9.5-meter diameter, and that surpasses both the SLS and Starship in size. Originally, China envisioned the Long March 9 as an expendable rocket, but in 2016 they made a strategic shift declaring plans to develop it as a reusable rocket during Space Flight Day celebrations on April the 24th. This aligns with China's 14th five-year plan, 2021 through 2025, which places a strong emphasis on reusable rocket technology. The projected launch date for the basic Long March 9 design is 2030, with an inaugural launch of a two-stage reusable version slated for 2034, as outlined in the 2021 white paper on space activities. China is pursuing lunar resource mining, developing space logistics technologies, and aiming for economic benefits by 2100. The Long March 9 Super Heavy rocket is crucial for lunar research, asteroid exploration, lunar and Martian missions, and space-based solar power satellites, as well as the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS, by 2036. In November 2022, China made a big change to its plans for the Long March 9 rocket. Instead of the original design, they decided to go for a new, reusable version that looks quite similar to SpaceX's Starship. This new rocket core would have 26 methane-burning engines, 
each producing a total thrust of 220 tons. Over the past few months, there have been various design concepts floating around with different diameters and engine types. According to Gu Minkin, a senior rocket designer at the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, CALT, the Long March 9's baseline model is expected to be a three-stage rocket, measuring about 110 meters in length, 10 meters in width, with a liftoff weight of around 4,000 metric tons and a thrust power of nearly 6,000 tons. This beast is designed for deep space missions, including trips to Mars. It could also work as a two-stage rocket with a bit less payload capacity. So here's the plan. The first model will have a reusable first stage, and the second model will consist of two stages, both with a reusable first stage. The goal here is to slash launch costs for China significantly. The Long March 9 can haul some serious cargo, 140 metric tons to low Earth orbit, 50 tons to lunar orbit, and 44 tons to Mars, thanks to its powerful YF-130 engines, each churning out 480 tons of thrust. For comparison, China's Long March 5, which can carry 25 tons to low Earth orbit and 14 tons to geostationary transfer orbit, cost about $33,000 per kilogram to low Earth orbit. In contrast, the Long March 9 is expected to bring that cost down to around $1,500 per kilogram to low Earth orbit, which is in the same ballpark as what SpaceX's Starship is aiming for. The Long March 9 is quite versatile, with four chemical engine side boosters and a core stage equipped with hydrogen engines in later stages. It's designed to adapt to different payload needs and could potentially replace some of China's existing rockets. In 2023, China hit some significant milestones, like successful tests of the YF-79 engine for the third stage and the unveiling of a 9.5-meter diameter propellant tank, showing real progress in making this rocket a reality. China's commitment to reusability is clear in their development of the YF-1100N engine, which packs a punch with 130 tons of thrust and uses innovative techniques like 3D printing, automatic welding, and intelligent assembly. This engine will power the Long March 5G, scheduled for launch in 2027. It will enable 27-ton payloads to go to translunar orbits and support reusable missions to the Pyongyang Space Station and lunar exploration. China's space program has its eyes firmly set on reusability as a key strategy for cost efficiency, mission frequency, and sustainability. The development of reusable rockets, especially the Long March 9, is a game-changer in reducing launch costs. This strategic shift not only optimizes resources but also gives China a strong competitive edge globally, opening up opportunities for advanced scientific exploration, admissions to the Moon, and Mars. Lin Xiyang, deputy director at the China Manned Space Agency, said that China wants to send people to the moon by 2030. They want to learn how to explore the moon and do things like going from Earth to the moon, exploring the moon's surface, sending humans and robots together, landing on the moon, doing research, and coming back to Earth. They also want to be able to do all of this on their own. China has big plans for their Long March 9. Apart from setting up a base on the moon, they want to use it to go to important spots in space where the gravity is stable. They also want to make satellites in space and have a good way to move things in space, all at a low cost. People shouldn't think that China can't do these things because they are good at making plans and doing what they say they will do. They have a history of doing well in different areas like making ships, 5G networks, special satellites, rocket tests, and controlling a type of important material. By saying they are going to build the Long March 9 rocket, and, by putting money and rules behind it, China is getting ready to change how we explore space. If they succeed, they could have a lot of control over who can use space and become a very powerful player in space exploration. So what do you think about the future of space exploration? Do you believe Long March 9 will truly dominate the space industry? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the like button if you found this video informative, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting space updates. Thanks for watching.